with Chairman Kim, I got along very well. That's a good thing that I got along well. You could have had a war like you haven't had in a long time. And guess what you have now? Eight months, no nuclear testing, no missiles, no anything. Mike Pompeo is over there right now. He is indeed. President Trump last night touting his historic summit with North Korea's Kim Jong-un. Remember that from a couple of weeks ago? This is Secretary of State Mike Pompeo kicks off two days of meetings in Pyongyang. So how close are we to fully denuking that country with some sort of an agreement? Here to weigh in, military analyst and international relations expert, Dr. Rebecca Grant. Uh, Rebecca, good morning to you. Good morning. Okay. Mike Pompeo's got to come back with something. What? Yes, he does. And he already knows what it is. This is the third time that he's been to the region. So they've talked about this timetable. What they're saying now is that they want a pathway to the full and final verification. So we're going to hear what exactly the inventory is that North Korea has and when they're ready to start taking steps. We're going to hear more about when we can start a verification regime right. and some specifics about getting rid of highly enriched uranium and breaking up missile parts. Rebecca, I don't know if you saw, but I think this particular meeting betwixt uh, Mike Pompeo and Chairman Kim may have started with on a note of uh, humor because apparently when the president met with him uh, at one point uh, Kim said uh, you called me rocket man and he said yeah it's a song have you heard it and he goes nope and so apparently Mike Pompeo is presenting Kim with an Elton John album autographed by the president of the United States Elton John, I love it. And maybe a pair of those glasses that Elton John wears when he performs. I'd love to see that, too. Okay. Well, right. This yeah. is according to uh, the North Korea press. So take that with a grain of salt. But nonetheless, Mr. Kim has really got to want it. Can't just say, look, I, I want things to change here. He's got to want it. He's got to actually do something going forward to prove it. Yes, yeah, seriously. History tells us the political will is key. And right now that Trump and Kim and Pompeo relationship is the heart of it all. Kim has to want to denuclearize. That's how it worked in Ukraine and South Africa and other places. So keeping that relationship, people joked about the beachfront property and right. talking about opportunities, but that is the key to making it happen. Kim has to want to do sure. it. That's Trump's job. And one of the other things is Kim, who loves Western culture, wants to come to New York. And apparently the president did him invite him, but he's got to make progress. So if Kim wants to be able to check uh, Big Apple off his bucket list, he better come up with something fast. That's right. And we do need to see the inventory. There's a lot of worry yep. about cheating in secret sites. So he's going to have to give Pompeo some concrete steps. And the plan will take time. We've heard a year, yep. two years, but we need concrete steps and we need them right now. We do indeed. All right. Uh, Dr. Rebecca Grant, we thank you very much for joining us on this Friday. Thank you. All right.